The undercover videos produced by discredited conservative activist James O'Keefe suggest it was Democratic operatives hired political activists working in coordination with the DNC to instigate violence and incite reactions at Trump rallies. And in one of the undercover videos, Scott Fovel, a subcontractor for a DNC-hired firm called Democracy Partners, supposedly explains just how he does it. The script. Okay. The script of engagement. Sometimes the crazies bite and sometimes the crazies don't bite. When they're outside the rally... Mm -hmm. They're more effective out. They're harder to get in. The media will cover it no matter where it happens. I assume it's always in the rally. Initiating the conflict by having leading conversations with people who are naturally psychotic. I mean, honestly, it is not hard to get some of these assholes to pop off. Right. It's, it's a matter of showing up to want to get into the rally in a Planned Parenthood t-shirt. Right. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, uh, <laughs> Trump is a Nazi. You know, you can, you can message to draw them out mm -hmm. and draw them to punch you. According to the undercover videos, it was this man the Democratic National Committee turned to to organize the work. Bob Kramer is the husband of Illinois Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky. He's part of a group called Democracy Partners, and he too was caught on undercover video, here explaining how he was hired by the Democratic National Committee to stage counter demonstrations and press conferences wherever the Trump campaign showed up. Trump and Pence are going to be, we have events. Okay. And we have a whole team across the country that does that. Both consultants and people from the Democratic Party and the Democratic Party apparatus and people from the uh, campaign, the Clinton campaign. Um, and uh, you know, my role with the campaign is to manage all that. Kramer stepped down from the campaign today and announced his subcontractor, Scott Fovel, was no longer working for his firm. Both the DNC and the Clinton campaign deny any coordination with anything involving the incitement of violence. Kramer himself told CNN his former contractors were committing barroom talk, insisting none of what is being described by Fovel ever actually happened. In a statement, Kramer writes, we regret the unprofessional and careless hypothetical conversations that were captured on hidden cameras of a regional contractor for our firm. He is no longer working with us. The Clinton campaign response, while Project Veritas has been known to offer misleading video out of context, some of the language and tactics referenced in the video are troubling, even as a theory or a proposal never executed. We support the Democratic National Committee's appropriate action addressing this matter and look forward to continue waging a campaign of ideas worthy of our democratic process. James O'Keefe is a convicted criminal, they add, with a history of doctoring video to advance his ideological agenda. And Drew Griffin joins us now. So what's the DNC doing about this? First, they put out a statement saying, Anderson, there's no evidence that anything described on these tapes actually took place. They agree with Bob Kramer's decision to step away and separate from any work uh, on the Clinton campaign. But they're also going to investigate, they say, James O'Keefe to find out if he did anything illegal in uh, obtaining or uh, gathering these tapes. We also did just get a statement in from Democracy Partners. That's a, a group of uh, a, a partnership, basically, that works on Democratic campaigns. They said that we were breached and betrayed, uh, but still standing. And we condemn, excuse me here, violence and election tampering in all forms.